Hello, ladies and gentlemen. With the kind of luck that has you step into dog crap with your bad shoes on, this is the Discriminated Gamer. Say, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at a game that gets deep up inside you. I am, of course, talking about The Colonists. It's a game all about... The Colonists from Mayfair Games. In The Colonists from Mayfair Games, one to four players is going to attempt to build the, the most prosperous, the wealthiest colony, community colony, in all of the colonies. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavier Euro game, and I'm not going to discuss everything in this game, because it'll take me a while, but I'm just going to brush on some of the basics of this game. Now, the game takes place over the course of four different eras. These are kind of like scenarios, if you will, but they build on each other. Um... Essentially, you can start with the, uh, the first era, move to the second, the third, the fourth, but you don't necessarily have to play them like that. You can play one to two or one to three, or you can even go like three to four or two to four. You can kind of mix it up that way or just play each individually. You can even, there's, there's even a way you can save your progress in a game and then come back to it later. There's all sorts of fun mechanics here. But essentially the idea is you have been charged by the emperor to go and create the most prosperous colony. So you and the other players are going to take turns then trying to do just that. Now, the game board is really a series of hex tiles. Essentially, you have a marketplace, and then you have a bunch of hexes that you're going to kind of place around it. Now, when you begin placing, each hex has to touch uh, two sides of another hex, um, and then they, they go around. Now, your market's actually kind of a two-hex piece, so the first hexes are going to have to start that right adjacent to it, but you're going to kind of go out and build them. Then you're going to put a final uh, marketplace hex that only has to touch on one side, so it's a little kind of out there. Over the course of the game, you're going to be adding some more uh, tiles to this, uh, to this board. Now, each player also has their own community, uh, which is kind of their own place where they're going to build their own buildings in order to make that uh, the most wealthy place that they can. Uh, in the first game, the kind of the introductory scenario, the first era introductory scenario, you're going to have kind of two pre-built farms. Uh, in the subsequent scenarios, you've got, the, of course, the bigger uh, tile. And you can do that in the first scenario, too. You've got the bigger community, rather. And you've got a lot more stuff you can build, a lot more room to build. Now, each era, too, is going to essentially have ten terms. You've got five game years. Each year ha has a, a summer and a winter turn. Now, what you do on your turn is you kind of take your piece and you place it on the market. Now, as the game goes on, you're going to have access to kind of more of these pieces. You're also going to have a greater range with your pieces. But starting out, they can just move into an adjacent hex. Now, when you move into this hex, you have to do what it says. You have to take the action. Now, some of these actions are just going to be to gain resources, which sounds great, but you've got limited storage, and you may have to build more storage, again, using some of these taxes and spending uh, some of your items. You may gain the items like wood, like clay, food. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of resources and items in this game that you're going to get. Um, you can also draw kind of the improvement cards, which are going to let you build some of these other things when you land on hexes that allow you to actually play the cards. And then, of course, you can always end in the marketplace. In fact, wherever you are, you can always jump to a marketplace. You don't have to kind of move back. Uh, it doesn't have to be adjacent. You can just move back there. But wherever you land your turn on, that's where you have to take your action. Now, you get essentially three actions per turn. So you're going to move to three different places, or you can double back and, and, and do the same one after you move off it. You can't stay in the same place, though. You do have to move. You can come back. And you're spending these resources in order to buy the buildings. First things you're going to build are farms, because farms are going to give you the green workers. The green workers are going to then go on different buildings that will then give you different resources. Um, you know, the Forester's House will give you more wood every year. Um, but there's, you know different places that will give you different kinds of resources and allow you to do different things, manipulate cards and so forth. Now, the different hex tiles, they're your places, and you're moving around them on your turn. Now, if at any time you land on a space that you want to use that somebody else has already on, you have to pay the fee. Now, each era has a fee. Um, it kind of says what you have to pay that person in terms of resources in order to use that as well. Then, of course, you'd still have to pay the resources to actually use the hex. Now, at the beginning of every uh, game year, you also kind of reveal the next three places, hex places that are going to come out. And then at the end of the turn, the first player, he's going to go ahead or she's going to go ahead and add those hexes to the game board there. So the game board is constantly getting bigger. It's constantly providing you with more options and more things that you can do to, for you to, of course, build up and improve your uh, community. 
Now, in a nutshell, that's it for each era. But again, each era is going to unlock new and fun and interesting things. New kinds of buildings, new kinds of improvements, certainly new uh, uh, hexes, new places that you can place that give you access to these new things. Now, critically, too, one of the things you can frequently do is take dollars. Now, dollars are another kind of resource, but they're kind of your victory points. So you're not spending them the same way you are your other resources. You're kind of collecting them. You put them in the toolbox next to your tools, which are another resource, and you're going to collect these things. And you're going to collect them because at the end of the game, after you've completed uh, you know, whatever area you're playing to, you're going to go ahead, you're going to total up all of the coins that you've got, all the dollars that you've got. You're going to go ahead, you're going to tally up kind of the worth of all your buildings, a few other factors. And that's going to determine who has the most uh, dollars, whose community is worth the most, and whoever's community is worth the most. You got a great scorecard there, tells you what all you have to add up. Who's ever got the most wins? The colonists. Now, there is a lot more going on in this game. This is a heavy box. This is one of those box, gay boxes you pick up, and you're thinking, this is a game. And this is a game in a box, because it is heavy. This is a heavy game um, in terms of just actually physically lifting the game. Also, too, in the content. Now, I say that because there's a lot going on here. There's a ton of components, ton of tiles, building tiles, the hex tiles, a ton of cards, different kinds of cards, the different eras. There's a lot of stuff you got to keep track of. And this, frankly, is a very intimidating game to learn. A very intimidating intimidating game to learn. I'm going to be blunt. I've not played more than past the first era. We played uh, the first era. Um, you know, I've done that, looked at that, uh, played it, but we have not gotten into, into, the, into the other area, eras. And that's kind of... The reason why is this. Um, well, let me just jump right into it. I think The Colonists <clears throat> is a well, well-designed game. I think it is a very well-designed game in terms of resource management, in terms of uh, making those tough choices about, you know, do I want to get, do I want to get this item? But if I want to go there to in order to to, to activate this, maybe build this building or, or get this resource, I have to go through here. And if I go through there, what do I have to spend, and, and how do I have to make that work to get there? And if so, if I go there, it's not advantageous. I got to come up with another strategy. I got, I've got something else to do. Um, the mechanics themselves, when you distill them, when you get them down, it's not as overwhelming as it initially appears. Uh, so things kind of make sense and come together, but there's a learning curve here. There's a fairly big learning curve. And additionally, there is also a fairly big issue with uh, analysis paralysis for some players because each turn you got these three moves, these three actions, and you're constantly trying to figure out what am I going to do? How am I going to optimize it? And then if I've got a strategy laid out and somebody moves into a space where I was, well, do I have the, the resources to pay the fee and still carry out my strategy? It's, 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 a, it's a well-oiled machine. It's very intricate. Now, however, um, frankly, it's not my cup of tea. I'm, I'm not a huge... Euro gamer, as I say, some I like, uh, but this one is, frankly, it's too heavy for me. And it's not heavy in that it's difficult to understand once you when, once you invest in it, but it does take time to invest in it. And for me, the 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 payoff personally is not there. This game provides a narrative experience, absolutely, it does. I just don't know that the story this game tells are stories I'm necessarily that interested in. So I think it's a good game. I think it's a solid game. I just don't think it's for me. Um, my game group was kind of so-so on it. I had somebody who who really appreciated, who who really liked the delicate mechanics here and the balance, and and, and he really ate it up. I had another one who said it was about as much fun as going to the bank. And frankly, I can see both of their points here. Um, me, I, I, I'm glad I played this game. I, I don't know that I'm going to be playing it again, again. It's just, it's just not my cup of tea. It's a little too heavy for me. Now, if you are somebody who really does like these heavier Euro games, who likes the Victory Point Salad, who likes kind of all of these options, and who likes to, to, to craft a strategy and, and focus on certain kinds of resources and buildings and, and, and doing that, and you don't mind the time it's going to take, because it's going to take time. This game can be several hours long if you want to play the whole thing. 
if you don't mind that, I think this is a great game. I think you're going to enjoy it. Now, it's not an inexpensive game, so you got to decide, is it, is it worth the cost for you? Um, for myself and, and for people like me who maybe, again, prefer a, something that's got, I don't know, a, less euro I guess is the only way I can say it, um, you may want to try this one before you buy it. It's, 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 a, it's a good game. It's just not a game that really appeals to myself. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us again today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. We are The Discriminating Gamer, and i got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I often wonder that if these settlers were, in fact, truck drivers, would they be semi-colonists? Semi-colonists? semi Okay, i got to work on that one. Please somebody help me on my feet again And I don't know where I'm going And I don't know where I've been Please somebody help me on the solid ground It's a long time and I'll be dying Once a year I wind up in the band There are within phase of range, Captain. All right, bye.